in this video I'm going to talk about double buffering. This is what you need to know for the graphics class. I drew this right here. This is without double buffering. It's a basic, um, a, as you can see what it does, you should know this from these tutorials. There's a timer that ticks every, um, hundredth of a second, and it's going to, on the surface graphics, it's going to clear the screen and draw the draw an image and then basically what this does is just the image will move left a little bit then move right a bit then move left a bit and it'll just keep on moving left and right so now if we compile this as you can see you, you can't you can barely see the image moving left and right because of all the flickering and the, the double buffering is going to remove that flickering. I talked about the flickering in the other video. I forgot about double buffering, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so basically, why why is it flickering? It's because we're actually doing this in real time. First, we're clearing the screen, then we're drawing an image. Then we're clearing the screen, drawing the image. And every time it clears the screen, that little fraction of a second it takes to clear the screen we see that and it causes the flicker so what we need to do is instead of actually like in real time clearing the screen and drawing the image we're going to create a buffer and in this buffer we're going to handle all our graphics and that and none of those graphics are going to actually be drawn onto the screen until it's finished that way it won't like do it in real time like you won't actually see the screen clear it'll won't show anything until it's finished so to do this instead of saying this dot surface equals this dot or surface equals this dot graphic we're going to do this i'll put this in the description um we want to say surface equals buffered graphics manager dot current dot allocate and we want to allocate first parameter is the graphics which is this dot graphics and the second is basically the size um, and so we're going to do a rectangle and since we're doing this we're going to get zero zero this dot width and this dot height then we want to do is instead of saying surface dot clear inside this graphic buffer we're going to surface dot graphics dot or graphic dot I think it's graphics plural and system dot graphics dot draw image now if we compile this now we run it as you can see it's going to draw absolutely nothing on the screen the reason is is because now the graphics are actually in this buffer and so in this surface dot graphics in this little buffer we clear the screen and draw the image but it's not actually drawn on the screen yet so to draw it on the screen we just say surface dot render and that will draw it onto the screen now if we run this as you can see we got a perfect little paddle moving left and right and there's no flicker at all so that's how you use double buffering. Um, so if you want to ever try game development, you want to be able to use this bu double buffering to get rid of all the flicker. And as you can see, it just moves left and right, no flicker at all. 